in question five. So we've got um, equation of graph here, and it's pictured to the right, and it wants us to find use integration to find the exact area of this region of the graph. Okay. So what we'd like to do, and we're finding it between the limit zero and one for x. So what we need to do is we need to find the integration between naught and one of x e to the two x with respect to x. Now you should notice straight away that this is a product between two terms, the first term being x, the second term being e to the 2x. So with that in mind, we need to use integration by parts. Now the formula is on your formula sheet. The integration by parts formula goes like this. Integral between of u dv dx with respect to x, that's the two parts of our product, is equal to u v minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x. So from this we need to establish our u and uh, our dv dx. So the best thing to do is to label u is your x term, unless there was a log term in this and then we would uh, make u our log term. So u is our uh, x and dv dx is equal to e to the 2x. Now that means that we also need to know from our formula we need to know du dx. So du dx is this respect, which is just 1. And we need to know what v is. So we need to integrate this term here. So the integral of e to the 2x is half e to the 2x. So now we can put all of these elements into our formula. And we can say this here is equal to, the, let's not say it's equal to, let's say the integral between 0 and 1 of x e to the 2x with respect to x is equal to, let's use our formula here, uv, so u times v is x multiplied by a half e to the 2x between a value between the limits 0 and 1 minus the integral of v, now v is a half e to the 2x multiplied by du dx is 1, so this is just, let's put the half outside, e to the 2x with respect to x, and this integration runs from 0 to 1. So let's carry this on. So first part is x over 2 e to the 2x oops, between 0 and 1 minus. Well this is going to give us this integrated e to the 2x integrated. We know what that does. That gives us half e to the 2x but we've got a half here. So we get minus a quarter e to the 2x and this is evaluated between the limits 0 and 1. So if we come back over here, this first bit gives us, if we substitute 1 in, we get a half e to the 2 and then we get when we substitute 0 in, e to the 2 lots of 0, 0, e to the 0 is 1, 0, gives us just 0 for that, minus 0. Take away, now I'm going to put this in brackets so we don't avoid any mistakes with uh, negatives. 1 into this expression here gives us 1 quarter e to the 2, and then we're subtracting 2 times 0, is naught e to the naught is so that's e to the naught is one so that's just a quarter. So overall we get the expression a half e to the two minus a quarter e to the two 
which comes out as a quarter e to the 2 and subtracting uh, minus quarter gives us plus 1 quarter. Now if we wanted to, um, that's the exact area, if we wanted to then, this is approximately, so you do it on calculators, 2.09 Seven two six four zero two five. Now, um, the, when it uses the exact value, it's not the same as this uh, previous question where it's asked us to give us um, a non simplified version. So you could leave it like that, or you could write it as this. What they're uh, hinting at here is that they want you to you actually do the integration and substitute the limits in, as opposed to the next part of the question, which asks us to use an approximation method um, such as the trapezium rule. So let's have a look at that. For this bit, they ask us to complete the table of values. So we're talking about the last graph, and they've just substituted the values of x in, getting values of y, and they've left two gaps, which you need to do to get the mark. So just using a calculator, just putting e to the uh, 2 lots of 0.4 is 0.8, so e to the 0.8 times by 0.4, put it all into calculator, you should get 0.89. 0, 2, 2. And a hint of advice here, they've given it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 decimal places, so you should do the same. Again, just 0 0.8 into substituting into this using a calculator. All you've got to do is tap it in, and the same thing, 5 decimal places, just as the same as they've done, 3.96243. Okay. And then it says use the trapezium rule with all the values in the table to give answer to 4 significant figures. So when we give our answers, we need to just check that it's done that at the end. Well, from your formula sheet and from C2, uh, the integration between 0 and 1 of e to the 2x with respect to x can be approximated by the trapezium rule, which is uh, half of the height or the distance between each trapezium, in this case, is 0.2 multiplied by y0 and uh, yn, which are the two y values at each end. So it's 0 plus 7.38906. It's these two values here. And then also then double the values of all the intermediate values here. So for us it's 0 0.29836 plus 0 0.89022 plus 1.99207 um, plus 3.96243 close our brackets here and close our square brackets here now um, I would then I would write this step out to show exactly what you're doing and know exactly what you're working is and you just it doesn't take that long uh, for a four mark question, it's, you've got plenty of time to do that. Then you can just tap it all into your calculator. So then if you do make an error, you can still get working marks and method marks. So following this through, we get 0 0.1 times all the junk that we just worked out in our calculator, which gives us 2.167522, which approximately equal to 2.168 to four significant figures. You can check and you just tap it on your calculator and then you can go through and if you do make a mistake you can then go through and just uh, edit on your scientific calculator and check all the individual little components and just check it all adds up. Just following the formula from the formula sheet. Okay.